Hello gorgeous immortal beings, welcome in to Cleo Ra. I've got a message for you from the Archangel Metatron. Love is on the way and plenty of gifts you might not expect. So let's get into it and see what comes out. I'm going to put Oracle cards first. Then we're going to have a look into a little bit of tarot. Here we go. We've got number nine, Treasure Island. And of course, the number nine has special significance when it comes to manifesting. So there's some level of spiritual completion going on where we're moving to the new world out of the water and onto the island of wealth. We've got poised here. So you guys are ready, you are ready to jump and leap into the new world with your wings fully open, okay? Peace, more wings on the card, okay? This is about us soaring into the new world with love in our hearts, anchoring in our higher selves, the infinite version of ourselves that exists, guys, that is just waiting for you to acknowledge it and live in your infinite nature, knowing that everything works out for you all day, every day, at all times. I've been channeling in quite a lot of love songs today, okay? So first of all, I've got Lil Wayne, How to Love. That might mean something to one of you out there. I'm hearing Aaliyah, Everything's Gonna Be All Right. And I've had quite a few more. I've had Sade, Paradise, just endless, endless love songs coming in. We've got the here and now, and we've got serendipity. So this is a reminder to really love yourself in your now moment and get ready for all these beautiful things that are coming in. More of this sort of leaping energy with the serendipity card, okay? There's, this is about really going for our etheric gifts and, and really knowing that we are fully whole, fully healed, fully divine, and fully worthy. We've got the truth be told. And look at this, we can go through this little window, the window of the wise, and uh, really be who we truly are. Take off the mask of our 3D selves, of the version of us that thinks we're mortal human beings, and really embody the etheric magic of knowing we are immortal and that we create life as we go. So they really want you to be ready for all this wealth and all this love that's coming in. It's time for you to leave behind any fears, any low vibrations and run towards this door. Get into the higher self, the loot lounge, the lounge of the gods. So I really feel like, you know, you're ready for this love and it's time to get out of anxiety and really acknowledge your divine status. Look at that. We've got the eight of cups. It's time to leave behind all those disappointments and get onto a big new journey. With your heart chakra fully activated, they're showing me the heart here, okay? It's time to leave behind the low vibrational world that the five of swords represents. You've stood your ground, guys. I'm talking to warriors. I'm talking to initiated beings. And just as I say that, we've got the high priestess. So I'm talking to people who truly know that you can get behind this curtain here on the high priestess and really allow yourself to live uh, as that backstage version of yourself. It's time for us all to bring forth our higher selves and to live in an endless now moment, okay? Here and now energy, okay? We bring the divine in, in our now moment. And creating that beautiful platform of being divine in the now moment pulls, pulls in all of your gifts, all of your divine treasures, and all of the love, okay? We've got the world card with the serendipity, so this is telling you that you can really trust the universe to just relax, okay? Let yourself relax into the knowledge that everything you want is coming because you've ordered it in. And all you've got to do is relax because you're ready for these gifts. And then the universe is orchestrating the perfect time, the perfect moment for everything to come in exactly when you need it. So it's time to really leave behind those old storylines, okay? Anything that involved, you know, anything other than peace, anything other than prosperity, anything other than love, we're letting it go now and we're focusing on what we love with our warrior level minds. We've completed our warriorship. She's got two armbands on, okay? This is a sign of being a warrior for love, of knowing what is worth fighting for, but also knowing when to turn off that energy and to focus on the love. There's no war without peace, okay? So anytime we fight, we're fighting for peace and now it's time to really revel and really get into knowing 
that there's love out there. Queen of Wands energy with the Queen of Cups, okay? So I could be talking to divine feminines who are truly on the pathway of manifestation. If I'm speaking to a divine masculine, or whatever the case may be, these could represent, you know, the energies of your person that's coming in for you. Uh, you know, you've got a real divine one on the way here, okay? A multifaceted divine woman. I'm hearing I'm every woman. And we've got the Six of Swords here. So this is flowing on to the next timeline, letting your mind be this boat here, okay? Your mind is the boat in the Six of Swords. So what you're doing is you're flowing gracefully on with your spirit guides at your side, okay? Moving away from these energies, seven of swords, five of swords, you know, they're, uh, they're just little distractions, guys, okay? Knight of Wands energy over here. So I feel like I've got to say to someone, you've done the work. You've evolved your soul. You've gotten out of those frequencies where you could attract in people who were flighty, who were non-committal. Okay, those energies are all in the past now. You've, you've shown extreme strength here. The strength to overcome your nature, to keep going back into old patterns and old blueprints and repeating the mistakes over and over again. I feel like you've learned your lessons here. You've done the healing with the Hermit card. You've gone inwards and discovered who you truly are at a divine level. So this is all about you letting yourself flow now and letting the angels guide you. We've got a beautiful dove on the peace card. So I feel like your only work is to allow your higher self into the driver's seat. And some of you may already be doing that. Let me know if you are in the comments. Type, I am my higher self. I am living in my immortal power. Okay, I feel like you've done the work here and you've got the accolades. So Metatron, the head angel, wants you to know that love is on the way after potentially, you know, experiencing these heartbreaks with these, uh, Low vibrational people, they put on a good act, don't they, guys? But, you know, the proof is in the pudding. You shall know a man by his fruits. So believe people when they show you what they are, okay? Because we live in a crazy world full of crazy people. But your frequency is anchored in and your spirit guides are right behind you, pulling you along, rowing you along, gliding along with you while you go and get this new love, this beautiful fountain of divinity coming in for you here you could be particularly psychic and a really good manifester with the queen of cups and the queen of wands coming out the queens are all about satisfaction the queens are all about the heart following that heart knowing that you've got a beautiful heart for a reason to use it and you know i feel like you're going to be giving and receiving a lot of love here show me more two of swords yeah you're not going to see it coming okay but you're already on this ocean you're already moving to this land over here okay so it's just a case of you trusting in that trusting in the universe and knowing look at this ace of wands now it's funny isn't it because we've got the queen of cups and the ace of cups the queen of wands and the ace of wands with the victory on the bottom of the deck so you're moving out of any confusion i'm going to move these over here because i feel like you've done it okay you've moved out of having that blindfold on and wanting to see the best in people when they didn't even have anything for you okay so you're moving out of those low vibrational connections now you're not connecting your consciousness your beautiful divine consciousness in with any other consciousness other than those who are also full of love and also full of respect with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is about what you respect and what you're passionate about. And the Ace of Cups is all about divine devotion. Yeah, we've got the mask here. So you're leaving behind, uh, you know, any version of yourself that wasn't honoring your higher self. Any version of yourself that allowed yourself to be treated as anything other than sovereign, divine royalty. You're going for the victory now. Let's have a look. Metatron, what else do you want everyone to know? What else? Show me, show me, okay, free at a time, no, give me one, talking, okay, so very soon you're going to be talking to someone, okay, there's going to be news coming in for you, there's going to be someone that you're going to start talking to, yeah, we've got coffee cup with love on the bottom of the deck, so this is going to be a lovely, lovely meeting, I'm getting a lot of chilled out energy coming from this, okay, where you're just flowing through life, doing your thing, high vibrational, feeling good, and then you're just going to start a new connection with someone feeling amazing that's going to lead to something bigger here. Let's have a look at these guiding stars and we'll see what comes out. Show me. Show me guiding stars. 
On this day, I seek out appreciation for every being in the universe. Now, this is the benefit of being a divine sovereign being. You can see through the eyes of source, and it means that you even appreciate these energies over here that tested you out, okay, that tested whether or not you could see through them, that tested all the things about you, you know, the people that really sort of wanted to put you in a box and make you feel like you had to put up with their crap, or the people who mistook you okay the people who mistook you for someone else the people who thought they could treat you like you were someone you were not whereas now you are conscious you're conscious of who you truly are and you're mindful about what you're pulling in what you're attracting in i'm getting your thoughts okay you're getting really better at controlling your thoughts and and focusing your consciousness in those positive directions really using the power of your now moment to pull in beautiful energies whenever you want let's have a look at the animal spirit guide cards and we'll see what comes out here show me the oyster so you've got hidden gems hidden talents that i feel like spirit might want you to share with people especially with the hermit and the high priestess this is almost like you getting into a position where you're sharing your work with the world in a perfect way, leaving your legendary mark on the world and letting people know how you think and how you feel about things. We've got the hawk energy here. So this is about seeing things from a much higher vantage point and knowing when to swoop, knowing when to act, knowing when to go for what you want to go for. So this is a very sovereign card with the hawk energy. You could be really thinking about when to make a move with, with your work or how to convey something. Perhaps you've got ancient uh, or secret knowledge here. And we've got the moth card. So you may find people are more drawn to your light, uh, that, that you're really attracting in people who just want to chat to you, who want to talk to you, and who are just responding to this energy. Because look at this, we've got the eagle who is the master of spiritual and physical strength. So I feel like you're anchoring in your talents and really going for gold here, knowing exactly when to strike, exactly when to exercise your alchemical force of will and when to put something out here to the world. Yeah, we've got the horse energy with the cosmic egg on the bottom of the deck. So this is about you galloping forward valiantly. The horse is so honorable and so magic. And with the cosmic egg, there's something here about you knowing the interconnectedness of all that is, allowing divine timing to work in your life and knowing you're going to be victorious and share your secrets. I feel like you've got some hidden knowledge or you've got some talent or you've got some gift that God wants you to share with the world. God wants your higher self in the driver's seat and wants you to bravely share your magic and share your light with everyone else. Really leave your mark on the world. Whoever I'm speaking to, do it, baby. Do it, okay? I know you've got something special in there that you need to share with the world. So there we go, the eight of wands. This is about you being who you are. They're telling me the radiance of the inner child. There are more and more of us now who are sharing our true nature, our true essence, okay? So these horrible little trolls online and narcissists and all these chaos causes, they're going down, okay? They are going down. We've got the King of Cups here to match our queen. So this is about emotional stability, letting the heart lead you, having healed all your wounds, and really moving forward and being a healer for other people. So there may be some sort of information you have that people would find really uplifting and really enlightening and uh, that they would find really healing. We've got the full card here. So this is the awakened being moving along on their pathway with all of their knowledge in their little bag here. So I feel like you are starting a whole new chapter. You're moving towards the light. You're, you're radiating more light, which is why I, why I feel like more and more people are going to be attracted in by that light. And there's something here about balance here with the Ace of Swords and the Justice card. So, you know, getting to the tip of that sword with the Ace of Swords, it's essentially the same thing as accessing your crown chakra, accessing the level of God, pulling that frequency through in your consciousness and doing divine justice, okay? Spreading the seeds of divine justice wherever you go and moving forward as a light-hearted, fun-filled, heartful warrior, full of heart, full of love, and full of light. Let's have a look. Ten of Pentacles. There we go. So these are the gifts 
that Metatron was talking about Treasure Island and the Ten of Pentacles. There's something here that's coming in for you, okay? And I feel like this is to do with your work and your sacred alchemical work, the legend, the imprint that you're going to leave on the world that's going to last a long time, okay? Beyond our lives, beyond any mortal life, the imprint you're leaving on the world now is going to last for a long, long time. It's going to ripple out forever, okay? It's just going to keep on moving and keep on going. They're showing me the wheel just spiraling and spiraling throughout eternity here. So your essence is needed. Your sovereignty is needed. Your beautiful, glowing, radiant consciousness representing God, representing the higher beings is really, really needed in this world. So they want you to be the warrior that you are and step into your divinity. Really own the love that you are, you are the embodiment of love and they want you to really revel in that, okay? I feel like you've done a lot of healing with the temperance. You are balancing out all the different sides of yourself. This is about balancing out the rationality and the logic with the right brain, okay? With the creative mind, the instinctive mind, the psychic mind. So you're pulling both sides of your nature into one eye, into one radiant beam of consciousness. There's something about you communicating, okay? Something about you letting yourself shine and letting yourself be radiant. And that this will lead you here to your bounty, uh, to your personal vault, okay? The universe has got a lot of abundance stored up for you that they want you to allow in. They want you to flow onto this new timeline with the full card where you can really access. They're showing me you unlocking a vault and letting what is yours be yours. Letting what is your money, your etheric money, become physical money here. Yeah, they're, they're holding it down for you here with the Four of Pentacles, keeping it safe. Know that your abundance is safe and that you are blessed here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at these queens over here. I want to know more about these queens. Okay, so we've got the Three of Swords, Healing Heart and all that. Okay, let's have a look. What, what else? The Lovers. Okay, so I feel like your healing's done now. Okay, I feel like you've patched up your heart here. And this is time to really go onto this new pathway with the Lovers. Maybe you were hurt by a water sign, but it looks like if you were, there's a new fire sign coming in. Okay, and she's feisty. She's hot. Ooh, manifestational queen here she's very erotic this one this queen of wands is very erotic so i feel like whoever's coming in next for you is going to be such a better match you're going to be praising god and thanking god that whatever happened before uh you know happened because this one is going to give you everything you want we've got eight of pentacles so this is something to do with your sacred work how you're going to meet this person you could be in a business meeting or a coffee meeting with someone and then they come along we've got the nine of wands telling me that you're almost there uh, almost through a pattern with the wands cards what's this yeah you've almost finished a period of isolation here so this is just about embracing your higher self letting the nightmares go with the nine of swords you could have been suffering overthinking about things in the past but spirit says this is done ten of swords energy metatron is bringing you in your divine lover a sacred connection someone who's really going to see you how you truly are and we've got the emperor energy coming out so this could be you or this could represent your dominion okay this could be a man coming in for somebody or it could represent a divine masculine in some aspect, but it represents, the emperor card represents experiencing life the way you want to experience it, because when you activate that sovereignty and that divinity, the universe has to respond because you are the universe and the universe is you, okay? So yeah, I hope I'm getting that through to someone here. You create your reality, you're in charge of your frequency, and Metatron has got your money and your lover all stored up for you. So it's just a case of you anchoring in that sovereignty and allowing yourself to claim your divine birthright. Put it in the comments. I claim my divine wealth. I claim my true love, okay? We've got when you wake up from a dream that feels so good. I was with you and we were home. I've had that out a lot recently. So I really feel like, you know, you've been connecting with your person in the etheric realm. Your higher selves are already embracing. And there's this chuckling. There's this uh, energy that's coming through where 
you know, I can feel the energy of your person like, oh, I was with you all along, but like the illusion of separation can be hard, right guys? We can be attracted to people that really remind us of our true love. We will always go for the energy in our vicinity that is most like our true love, okay? So it can be really painful losing someone that we thought was the one because they were like 90% similar to the person we will end up with. But your divine partner, your divine spouse has been with you all along etherically, non-physically, and now we have sovereignty activated. That's what this whole reading is about, activating that higher self, getting the lens of consciousness that you see the world through tweaked to that divine level. And uh, it's all happening for you. We've got pathway to source. Your higher self is your spiritual teacher. And your higher self is also your guardian angel, which means you are essentially an angel, a cherubim. Okay, a beautiful portion of the divine. So everything's working out for you and everything's supposed to work out for you. That's why we came here to live the storylines that we really want to live. We've got beautiful moments make beautiful memories. So I feel like you're coming into more and more beautiful moments. Look out for the beauty in your life. Choose the love. Activate the, the strong frequency of love in your magnetic field. They're showing me a radiant violet, ultraviolet aura. Okay, so if you picture yourself in an auric field of pink and purple, that can really help you to really anchor in those etheric energies, guys, okay? Claim this reading, claim all these blessings, Treasure Island, say hi to Metatron in the comments, and uh, I love you guys, I'll see you again. Mwah.